You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be going over our what top 10 worst uh, WWE superstars of 2017. Yeah, who kind of had the worst year creative? What character lacked? Yes. So let's get right into it. Num- uh, actually, first, we have an honorable mention. Yes. And it is James Ellsworth. Mm-hmm. The uh, the poor guy kind of suffered for we we signed you to a contract and we don't have anything for you. Mm-hmm. So um, instead of having him not on TV at all, they decided to pair him with uh, with uh, Carmella. Carmella. He and technically, uh, yeah, had caused a controversial ending to a huge first women's Money in the Bank match. Yeah, which was a big big stink. Yeah, but um, that was just to pop ratings on. A, well, yeah, because they wanted people to watch SmackDown. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then towards the end of his tenure, he started dressing up as a dog and being Carmella's pet. Mm-hmm. And then he spent the last two weeks of his time just getting beat up by the women wrestlers. Yep. I think it was even ha- happening on the house shows uh, as yeah. well. The, yeah. his, the last house show, everybody <laughs> kicked. Uh, I think he got oh, super kicked man. by like every single women wrestler. I believe that. Um, so, but, but yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't a. It was a good year for him because he was working the WWE. Yeah. But, but yeah for the character it wasn't great no all right so number 10 all the nxt call-ups yeah um it's hard to well besides oscar but it, it's yeah. kind of hard to i guess pick out one that had the worst yeah year i mean i think shinsuke had probably far and away the worst year because of the potential yeah it would be losing to gender clean multiple times yeah um, I guess we'll throw Ty Dillinger in there. Yeah, Ty Dillinger, Bobby Roode. Mm-hmm. Um, but it pretty I mean, much the revival three. doesn't really count. They don't because count because they got injured. If, yeah, but that's just a bad year for them as yeah, well. Yeah, true. Um, Who else was called up? Anybody else really noteworthy? I don't think so. Yeah. I just think it was just those guys and Asuka, mm-hmm. pretty much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the just the booking, they clearly don't know what to do. Dolph Ziggler got fed all of them. Yeah, and they obviously went over on Dolph, and after that, they that just was couldn't nothing. do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, that's just that's, yeah. where they not, are. Not much to say there. Yeah. So it's a very disappointing for three superstars with great potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, number nine, Rusev and Lana. I I don't like the fact that we have to put them on here. I know Rusev is finally starting to get himself over yeah. because the creative team cannot. Yeah. Um, all right, so where do we begin with Rusev? Well, it was rumored first that Rusev was originally supposed to get the push that Jinder had received. Yeah, because I think it was right after WrestleMania, they did a, like, he made, like, a Twitter video mm-hmm. saying that he was going to challenge, um, I guess it was Randy Orton at the time, right. for a title match at Money, Money in the, the Bank. Money in the Bank, yep. And that never happened. No. And that's when Didn't Jinder... show up at Money in the Bank. Yep. He came back a little while after that. Had a quick feud with Cena, yep. got buried in a flag match, yep. went on to face Orton at SummerSlam, lost in, what, three seconds? Ten seconds. Ten seconds, whatever. Yeah. That went nowhere, mm-hmm. and then he, well, now he's huge. Now but, he is um, the main part of Rusev Day. Yes, but this happened in, what, December of yeah, this 2017? Is the last few weeks. So. Um, but... It's just so disappointing. The potential was all there, and, yeah. and he's such a good, just such a good character. Mm-hmm. He's a good, good in the ring. Yep. Um, and then we kind of grouped Lana in here too, just because like we wanted to put her on the list, but she wasn't really. Cool. She wasn't meant to have a great year. Yeah. But what she was shown in was not very good yeah because she had a couple of title matches with naomi yep and the only really... reason she got a second match was because of what she posted on twitter if you watch total divas yeah so um, it wasn't it's not like she was meant to do great things nope. and just didn't it was more of it's like there was she had some potential and it just didn't really show up yeah shame but yeah all let's, right let's hope for the future it's true number eight baron <laughs> corbin yeah the man that had such a bright future for 2017 that he kind of caused this himself a little bit. Well, he kind of didn't know how to keep his mouth shut on Twitter. Yeah, he, he kind of, I don't know, 
had deer in headlights and the spotlight almost, so he didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. Um, he won the money in the bank. Mm -hmm. And then and then lost, or he cashed it in unsuccessfully. Yes, which uh, I guess he had problems on Twitter with going back and forth with fans, and then he called out Dave Meltzer, which yeah. is a huge no-no yeah. in WWE, and then apparently got into it with a concussion doctor or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, and then... But, you know, it's not like he had terribly bad. Mm -mm. Like, but, he had a short stint as the U.S. champion. Right. And then he got beaten pretty quickly at SummerSlam by John Cena, which yeah. we were hoping would elevate him because, well, Cena does have a uh, record of losing at... Uh, Big pay-per-views. Well, SummerSlam, SummerSlam especially. SummerSlam specifically, yeah. yes. But, um, yeah, Baron Corbin has a lot of potential. He's really proven himself to be more capable than we originally thought. Mm -hmm. um, and just hopefully 2018 proves to be a little better for him. Mm -hmm. But 2017 wasn't... Wasn't while, his year. Well, it was... The, the potential was there. Mm -hmm. They just didn't really do much with him. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. Number seven, Becky Lynch. Um, <sighs> this is another one that it it's a shame that we have to put her on here. Absolutely. Because she is... Well, maybe not right now, but for the first half of the year, she was definitely the best women superstar on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Now that Charlotte's there, you can't really make that claim so much. They're, they're equal footing, yeah. but she was by leaps and bounds but th better. Th this had nothing to do with her ability. Yeah. It was all the writing. She was not. Fe she was half the time. She wasn't even featured on SmackDown. Yeah. Other times, I mean, like we always said, the women's roster on SmackDown has suffered greatly. Yeah, because all they do is uh, multiple person matches. Mm -hmm. So she's there. She's just not involved in the the main part of the storyline. Yep. So she's kind of just passed over, and I think it's just because they didn't want to make her the champion all the time. Right, and that would have been an easy thing that, to do. Exactly, because you're just like, oh, she's the best, so right. she should have the title, but yep. it's like, you know, we can't really do that because mm -hmm. that's boring. Right. So that kind of just leaves her out in the dark. Yeah, and she could be a dark horse to win the uh, Royal Rumble. I'd be okay with that 100%, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's uh, another way to get the, or I guess have Carmella cash in and be the defending right. on at WrestleMania. Yeah. So, but number yeah. six, big cast. Uh, we spoke, I think, in Feud of the Year about horrible, um, I guess, tag team breakups. Mm -hmm. This was the worst one. Yeah. And this created a terrible feud. Yeah, because it was literally the same thing week in and week out mm -hmm. with uh, Big Cass just beating up on Enzo. And it, it was Big Cass that suffered because of it, because he was a much bigger opponent for Enzo, where so it wasn't believable that Enzo, Enzo could win. win. Yeah. yeah. So he should have been winning. So mm -hmm. it kind of takes away from the fact he was winning. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it just, and then he ended up getting that really bad. Uh, quad injury yeah, quad or knee it was one of them yeah and um so he's been out since june i yeah. want to say and uh, no 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 it, had, it was after it was after SummerSlam. no it wasn't yeah it wasn't their match at SummerSlam. i thought they had a match at great balls of fire maybe maybe mm. um anyway yeah so uh, but it was just nothing yeah and the fact that him and enzo were in a tag team for so long and they were never able to Get a title. Get a title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the only bright spot for him, and that wasn't even 2017. That was 2016 when he was in the uh, Fatal Four Way for the oh. Universal Championship. Yeah, it was see, right it was, after. It was after the right after night Summer after Slam. SummerSlam. Because yeah. at SummerSlam, he fought the big show. Mm hmm. All right. Um, but that was much more recent than I thought. Again, this could be a good 2018 for Cass. I don't know when his timetable to return is. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot going on. He might get left I behind. Oh, yeah. That's, That's what true. I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Number five, Bailey. Um, well, what are you going to say? I was going to say, this was a character that should have been so hard to screw up, yet mm. they screwed it up. Well, for, I guess, the entire reason of they liked Alexa Bliss better, mm -hmm. did Bailey just had no men momentum after she lost that title that's it because she had a be very strong beginning of the year mm -hmm. she, yeah, she had a, she had a great champion, match right? no she she won it at um i think she won it at fast lane oh okay in february yeah, yeah, yeah. um but she had a great match with um 
with Charlotte at the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. I think she was unsuccessful at uh, obtaining yeah, the that's championship. That's when her, she had her streak, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she ended up winning it, I believe, at Fastlane, okay. which was at the beginning of March. Oh, was it March or February? Oh, it yeah, was, yeah. It was like March 3rd. Okay. Um, and then she defended the title successfully in that fatal four-way match between her, Charlotte, Becky, not Becky, um, Sasha, and Nia Jax. Mm-hmm. And then she lost it and uh, at Payback to Alexa Bliss. Bliss. And ever since then, it's been downhill. That feud was kind of put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, um, so it it's I mean unfortunate I, because I, she's it's not like there's anything wrong with her. No, but I think it's the whole thing with the NXT crowd, and it's such a more intimate setting. Like you kind of really get into the character, mm-hmm. and in the main roster, it just they just kind of thought it wasn't going to work. I guess so. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's it's like I said didn't have an appeal to the majority, which I don't think is true. But well, yeah, because it's. It seems like she gets cheered every yeah. time. But she oh yeah, there out. was a point where she was getting booed, yeah. completely booed. Yeah, that was during her feud with Bliss. Uh, Bliss yeah. So, all right, number four, Dolph Ziggler. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot we can say <laughs> about Dolph. He, he's there. Yeah, basically. he was basically the uh, SmackDown punching bag. Yeah. For the year, I mean, well, he, like he, we said he in just the NXT, jobbed NX- to all the new guys. Yeah. All the call-ups, and then his biggest win was when he won the U.S. title, right? And then dropped it, then vacated it two nights later. Yeah. Um, just, it, it. there's been talks about him leaving the company, unhappy in the company, because he figured that he should have been one of the top guys. Yeah, for whatever reason, uh, there's always rumors of him leaving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's true, yeah. yeah. I guess that's just because there's really no reason for him to stay well, at this point. Well, somebody time. who had all the tools, but just, I, I don't know. I guess just couldn't get over. Well, that, he was kind of a victim of the other people going on around him. And he, his main event status was during a time where there was nothing going on. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, um, a, it was kind of like the Seamus. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It was just a poor timing. Mm-hmm. Um, but. But yeah, I don't know. He and had his that, feud with Bobby Roode was not terrible good. terrible with all that uh, gimmick mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, everything just fell flat. The Shinsuke, their match they had it. I don't remember which pay per view it was. It was backlash. It was, backlash. And it was not very good. It was not good. No. no. Um, so it's a shame. It was uh, seventeen where he was with fighting Sing- uh, Kalisto and Apollo, or is that that might have been at the beginning that, of the year? Yeah, the, that would make sense because yeah. he had just turned heel. Right. So it was probably maybe Elimination Chamber where that match happened. Yeah. Or even, um, was it? It could have, no, it couldn't have been Backlash. So it was probably Elimination yeah. Chamber or something. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was not good. No. All right. Number three, Randy Orton. The Viper. Yeah. Um, he was kind of Ginger's whipping boy. Good that portion of the year. He had a terrible, terrible feud, feud with, with Bray, Bray. White. Yep. Yeah um and you know it's randy orton uh, when he's a face and he's yeah, exactly it's, it's face randy orton no, he's doesn't seem interested it's boring His character's not interesting uh as of right now at the end of 2017 he's all he's done is been shane's lackey basically yeah, yeah. With, with shinsuke and mm-hmm. the two of them getting thrown together yep um so you know he's he did nothing yeah he he, he him and rusev had, had a quick feud yeah, that was, was terrible yeah he had a WWE title reign, and it still wasn't good. Mm-hmm. He, it's really hard to picture. Yeah. Um, and you know, if he turns heel at some point and gets away from right being, I guess, uh, an answer to a question or an answer to a problem like mm-hmm. he is now, then right. maybe. Yeah. Because I mean, even when he was with the Wyatts, it was it was decent. Oh, because it was different. Well, that's true too. Yeah, yeah I guess that's kind so, of the thing. I think that was the big thing because yeah. Randy Orton right now is playing a Randy Orton character. Oh yeah, yeah. That's so just Randy Orton to a T. Yep. Yeah. So because while he's technically a good guy, he's literally playing Triple H's, but not playing Triple H's mm-hmm. chains. But he's playing yep. his lackey, like you said. Yeah. So. Yeah. Number two, Bray Wyatt. He's going to be on every list of the worst forever. I, It's, yeah. 
It's true. Mm-hmm. Um, he finally got the world title victory that everyone wanted, wanted. for him, mm-hmm. and he got nothing out of it. Nope. He looked worse coming out of that. Which uh, I think the couple of weeks that he held it on SmackDown, it definitely people were definitely happy. Yeah, and he had that triple threat between AJ, and, him, and John Cena. Mm-hmm. That was a good That's match. That's right, yeah. Um, but it, the feud with him and Orton... That match at WrestleMania was oh, a dud. The, um, the House of Horrors match. That was terrible. That The build was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> and then he leaves SmackDown, goes to Raw, which was the correct decision. Mm-hmm. He pretends to feud with Balor. Oh, right, yeah, because that was during the Superstar shakeup. Yeah, Balor gets hurt, so that stops, and then he goes after... What do you go after? I don't even remember. Yeah. Uh, and that oh, kinda, was he in the six-pack? The He was in that match for mm-hmm. the number one contendership right. at Extreme Rules. Um, or was it the five? Oh, it was five. It was right? five, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, I don't even remember what he did at SummerSlam. That was Finn. Oh, it was Finn? Yeah. That's the start. Or that's that where was, it started? I think that was the start of it. Um, and then he ended up not being in the match with uh, Finn at no, uh, at TLC. Yep, and then he, he got sick. mumps or whatever it was. And then he, now he's with Matt Hardy. Well, he, like I said, hit January 1st, that was his, what, third match he wrestled since September? Yeah, so. And it, he was only sick for, what, a month or two? No, he wasn't even, he wasn't, it was probably a couple of weeks. Roman came back two weeks later. Yeah, oh well, yeah, but I think. <laughs> they weren't gone for long. Yeah, they I guess that's true. didn't do anything with him. Yeah, oh yeah, and then the whole Sister Abigail thing. Oh, when he was turning into a woman? Yes, and that was going to be him versus Demon Balor, and it yeah. was just the worst, like that would have probably ended his career. Probably, so getting sick is probably the best thing that happened. And the worst part is, he's not number one. It's true. Number one, Finn Balor. That guy we were just talking about. The man with... He had everything going for him. It's true. And Lost he got the, hurt. Yep. This was Seth Rollins' fault. <laughs> I'm going to blame him. Because he went from being the first ever Universal Champion to at least not jobbing to people. Yeah. Because he w- he's basically just been having enhancement matches for the right. last... Right, right someone six months that you thought so highly of this person to make him your first universal champion Mm -hmm. gets hurt comes back there's all this hype and speculation he was ready i think before wrestlemania Uh and And then then he didn't come back to like what a raw couple couple weeks weeks later yeah and or was it the night after mania it might have been the night yeah because we were we went the week after yeah so but it was just and that's when he that's when Bray did the thing. No, 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 it was... Yeah, yeah, but that, that's when Jinder... Punched him in yep, the head and gave him he, a concussion. Yeah, so I think they were a little iffy then. And then he did nothing. He yep. floundered, then went into that terrible feud with Bray Wyatt. Yep. It, it just was bad. Yeah. And then now he's still not doing much. I mean, now we've got him to back together with the club. Yeah, but, but that happened in 2018. It did. So... That's true. Uh, it's just... It's a shame. It really it, the, is. The man's got all the potential. He had probably what could have been considered one of the best matches of the year um, against AJ mm-hmm. at, at TLC, yep. which was not a planned match. It was a thrown-together no. match. Yep. Because so, of Bray Wyatt getting yeah. sick. So, and, you know, that's, you know, because that's a testament to the quality of work you have mm-hmm. there, but you just, they just didn't do anything with them. No. So, unfortunately, we have to give Finn the number one spot in this. Yes, and hopefully he has the best 2018. Uh, that would be uh, that would be what I'd hope, and, yep. you know, hopefully maybe he can win the Royal Rumble. Yep, so there's a possibility, possible. yeah. So. so that was our list of 10 WWE superstars who had the worst 2017. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. And Bye. feel free... Oh. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have an opinion on what we have to say. There you go. Right. Until next time, we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.